When would you say the last time that you bombed was? Oh, like bomb bomb? And it could just be in your head where it was like that deafening moment. Because, I mean, I feel like you probably, we were kind of talking about it for a second, you probably play to, at this point, I feel like people hit a certain level of success where it's like, okay, this is probably a safe room. Do you feel like you, there has been an unsafe place and do you crave that at times? I, I crave it a little bit. Like I'm working on a new show at the moment and it's good. Like my, my fans are insane people and they're great, but they're all mental. And so when they come to the shows, uh, when I'm working on new material, they'll laugh at everything. And I'm going, no, that's, I don't, <laughs> I don't need you to laugh at everything. I need you to, you know, see me as a fucking neutral. Because I think that's why so many great comedians eventually get worse uh. because it's so much harder to find a neutral audience to get in front of. That's why America's still good for me. Like, I'm not that well-known over here, like, in places. But, like, I can still, I get to jump on at, like, the cellar and, like, the improv and all these clubs where maybe 15% of the audience know I am, but the rest don't, and they don't give a shit. And that's, I find it still exciting. Um, I can't remember the last time I genuinely full-on bombed though and if i did it would have been self-sabotage it wouldn't have been them it would have been me it would have been just you want to blow up tonight just to feel it uh well kind of because <laughs> that to me that sounds like the most mental thing but i've done the the, the, last, the only one that pops to mind is there's a great uh there's a very very good gig in the, during the edinburgh festival called uh, spank and it's just a late night insane show where it, it, there's like a naked open spot. So if you want to go on a problem with your show, you have to do it while in the nude. Oh, wow. And so, yeah, and everyone's drunk. It's it's a wild, it's one of the shows that would only exist at the Edinburgh Festival. And they, my friends run the show, they would ask me to come on it for ages and ages and ages. And they kept going, it's a bear pit, it's a bear pit. And I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to get in a fucking bear pit. Like, that's not going to be fun for me. Um, and they keep asking and they're really good friends and all my friends have done the show and they say it's amazing. Like, it's a high energy audience. And... I think before I went on stage, I had decided myself because there was all the comedians in the back of the room because they knew I was finally fucking doing it and they know how much I hate late night gigs and stuff. And I, I in my head, I'm like, I'm going to bomb here. I fucking, and, I, and I already started to hate the audience before I walked on stage. And I went on and they were fine. In hindsight, they were an absolutely fine audience, right? They, they laughed at all the right bits. Maybe not as hard as I would have liked, but they still enjoyed it. And at one point... A girl heckled me, and because I was just so on fucking edge, I went for her, like, way too harsh, way too soon, like, just fucking kicking a puppy across a room, like, got that, so, like, people go, oh, Jesus Christ, and then I was like, this hot, and it just became, and then the comedians in the back of the room start laughing, and it, for me, it then just becomes, right, that's the gig. Right, I, I can't. I've, I've fucked up this one so much. Like this audience <laughs> hates me so much now. I can only perform to the back of the room, and I'd obviously I had a couple of drinks, and <laughs> it ended with me. I refused to leave the stage until I got the laugh, and I quote, "Until I get the laugh I deserve." <laughs> <laughs> Which is, just, and again, the audience—they're not booing; they're trying to enjoy it. I've just yelled at them for ages, and it then result, ended up with me lying on the ground. Uh, just reading out my comedy CV to the audience in the mo yeah in the most fucking egotistical arrogant way. I'm like two Netflix specials uh, sold out ten thousand tickets during the end of Oh wow! So this is recent or no, semi semi recent? Yeah, it's about two years ago. Yeah. yeah, I'm lying on the floor, nine Conan appearances, all the comedians <laughs> in the back of the room just laughing because I'm clearly having a miserable time. That being said, to be absolutely fair to the, the audience, fully came around at the end. They like they loved watching the mental breakdown of a comic, and it ended up with me just screaming is this what you want and then me getting naked for the show and then storming off when you said when you said earlier that uh you don't like late night shows so like shows after midnight no oh, why would i why, why on fucking earth would i want to gig to drunk people i don't even like talking to drunk people <laughs> like really well unless i'm drunk which okay. is the best obviously but yeah like there's the, uh there's all these late night gigs in places where you know they're like you can go on at one in the morning two in the morning i'm like no why, why are they the ones that are more likely to go wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's man, it's it's cowardice on my side, but it's you know, it's I want to do the part of my jobs that I really want to do. There's you know, there's comedy purists. I remember it so much when I started out, like you'd be gigging to seven people in an audience, and there became a point when I would turn up to shows, and there would be seven people in the crowd, and I'd go, I'm not, I'm not doing this gig. I don't need to 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna perform to seven fucking people. That's not fun. And they're like, no, you have to learn to play to seven people. And I was like, no, I don't. I don't. Mm. I'm, n- I'm never going to play to seven people again. Why do I have to learn something that I'm ne- I, I intend on having a career beyond seven audience members. I don't need this skill because it's not. And so many comedians would disagree with me. And I think I'd be, I, th- I think they are right. <laughs> I'm just a coward. <laughs>